Good morning. Welcome back. If you're doing any driving, we do have some patchy fog trying to form across the Wabash Valley, mostly to the southwest this morning. Not quite as widespread as it has been the last couple of mornings. So you have to do any driving in this direction in Illinois uh, only down to one mile visibility. Flora, same situation. Five in Robinson. So patchy fog again, mostly to the southwest. But our temperatures again are in the lower 70s, mid 70s in some locations everywhere across the Wabash Valley, upper 60s uh, in our cool spots. But even then, the temperatures are going to bounce back very quickly as we move through this afternoon and we are going to see highs once again in the mid 90s. So look, a heat advisory has been issued now for Indiana. All of our Indiana counties under a heat advisory. This came down just in the last half hour. So our entire area expecting dangerously hot conditions over the course of the rest of the day. So if you have to do anything outside, especially after lunch, it's not going to be very comfortable. In fact, you're going to need to be careful. In fact, I would just get outside earlier as early as possible, even if the sun's not quite up yet. Just make sure you, you're taking care of yourself. Take extra breaks, stay hydrated, stay cool, stay in the shade. We are going to have some clouds. It's not going to be enough, though. We're going to see mostly sunny conditions really take over. Driving temperatures into the mid 90s. Uh, heat index closer to 105 by the end of the day. And we are going to see the possibility here for some showers, maybe even thunder showers as we move through this afternoon. So you can see on our future guys around lunchtime, very isolated spots of rain are going to try to form ahead of a more organized chance of showers, maybe even thunder showers as we move through this evening. So this is around five. You can see this line of heavier rain fueled by heat and humidity. And then as it moves through the Wabash Valley, as it gets later into the night, falls apart. We see dry conditions take over off and on clouds are still here over the course of the night, but we're going to see clearer and clearer conditions take over the closer we get to tomorrow morning. Now we're in the mid 90s over the course of this afternoon. Heat index closer to 105 again, dangerously hot outside. Be careful. The entire area now under a heat advisory through the rest of the day. Tonight we're in the lower 70s. Slight chance of showers over the course of the night tonight. You saw that on the future cast. Maybe some heavier rain, maybe some thunder lightning as we move through the first part of the night. Tomorrow, once again, sunny, mid 90s. Heat index close to 105. And over these next several days, you can see a chance of showers and thunder showers several of these afternoons. None of these days are washouts, but you do have to work around some showers as we move through the mid to late afternoon. As we reach that hottest part of the day, and all the energy comes together here for some showers. Temperature is going to stay in the mid 90s, and we are not going to see any relief from this until we get through the weekend and start the next work week. And even then, temperatures are going to stay in the lower 90s and then mid 80s on Monday.